Good afternoon, everyone. I am Mr. Royce Ogiri, he CEO Nawiwi Farmers. I've been reading a lot of comments, and some people requested for uh, me to do a video about how I make attractants. So that's why I'm doing this video. Now, you must note one thing the main thing about attractant is that it smells. If you prepare attractant that does not smell, you might end up losing eggs because the smell is what attracts your flies to come and lay in your egg collector. So it must smell. I'm going to talk about four or five different type of attractants and their strengths, how I make them. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that now and click the notification bell so that each of my videos that come up, you'll be the first to know about it. So let's us begin. Why do you make attractants? Like I said before, BSF will lay and they will die. A period of four to seven days. I usually don't bother myself keeping them to seven days because once the female has laid, just once she's done, she won't lay again. Same thing with the male. Once it has mated, it's done. So after mating and after laying, I prefer them to go, to die, so that there will be space, more space for others, and there won't be a case of overpopulation. Now, if you notice, I have a lot of flies around here. I mean, house flies. I also talk about that in a video. Problem of house flies, how to deal with it. Why I have these house flies around? Because I have opened up where I keep my attractants. There are different types of attractants, and I'm going to talk about each one of them. First, I'm going to start with blood meal. Blood meal, if you go to any slaughter around you, request for the blood of the uh, animals and you keep the blood in a tight container for some days the longer it stays the stronger the smell so you keep it in an airtight container normally i don't use blood meal except in I have no other option because the smell of blood meal, the smell gotten from blood meal attractant is so strong and offensive. Even you might not be comfortable handling your flies in your fly cage. So I don't use blood meal. It's a no-no for me. Uh, a friend of mine, Mr. Oye Wumi, who is also a BSF farmer in Lagos, he taught me about the blood meal and I tried it. It was really wonderful. But after a while, I couldn't stand it. So I don't do blood meal. What I do, these four steps, these four types of attractants I make, is what I'm going to talk about. Number one, starting from the weakest, is beauty spent grain. Soak up your beauty spent grain, leave it for a while outside, let flies lay in it. Let the maggots, I mean house flies, lay in it, let the maggots hatch and start to eat up. Then you tie it up in nylon and keep it in airtight container. After a few days, it begins to release this yeast smell. This yeast smell is very good. It's very good. It's not so strong. But you will notice that as it goes, it becomes stronger. But I still don't enjoy... Um, Beauty waste attractant because the first few days where it starts to give off that yeast smell is not that it's a fine smell, it smells like uh, like beer, but it's not that strong. If you have a very big fly house, it's not that strong. A little wind and the the smell is gone. Maybe from the third day. Fine, the smell might become better, but the first few days where you open it up, it's not that strong. I'm not rushing this video so that you will understand its 
very well every step of it now let's move to the next this one i use i use it a lot we're talking about chicken feed you grab up some dry chicken feed put in a container like this then you soak it with some water a little water not much just a little maybe like 50 percent of the feed 50 50 soak it then a tight container like this leave it for three days normally when i do it i put it out in the sun and it, the, the container starts to sweat i leave it out there for like three days by the time you open it you have that yeasty smell too then within 24 hours it has started producing enough smell for your um flies there's a little challenge about poultry waste you have to go there once in a while to add more water into it add it in such a way that it is very light when i'm demonstrating the final one i'm going to show it practical so yeah you understand now i just want to explain all of them through it should be very light it shouldn't cake up if it cakes you might lose the strength of the smell it shouldn't cake up so some people say they change their attractant once every week i don't i can leave my attractant go up to two months what you just do is you keep adding a little water and shaking adding a little water and shaking so that it it remains light watery so it continues to uh get side continues to get bad and it continues to release uh, the smell that's for poultry waste another good one is fruit waste what i do is you get fruits from the market juice it up the juice is what i use as a tratant if you keep the juice for three days it starts to ferment and release that same yeast yeast smell the thing about the fruit waste is you don't need to continuously add water because it's already liquid the fruit juice is already liquid so it continues to uh, ferment and release smell just like the uh, psg the poultry waste the fruit juice they all also expire after time now some people say they use pig waste i don't I don't like it. I don't I don't I don't like the result of the resulting smell of pig waste. The thing is, if it is not smelling to you, just know that your flies might not appreciate it. Why do they need this smell? They go to lay their eggs where they know that if the eggs hatch, they will have enough food to eat. So they lay it where you have the smelly substance. Believing that when they hatch, they are supposed to fall into the smelly substance and eat. That's why they lay there. So if you start to lose your smell, you see them dropping their eggs everywhere and anywhere. And sincerely, it's no good. You know that your pupa bean is in your fly cage. The pupa, uh, the pupa also generates some amount of smell. So you see, some flies will go and lay there. But if your attractant is stronger than your your pupa, the smell from your pupa, they will certainly come to the side of your attractant. That's why your attractant must be very good. Must be very good. Now, let's come to what I do, what I use mostly. And as I'm demonstrating this, you know that it's the same percentage of mixing that you're going to use in all of them. Sorry, I'm wearing gloves, so I came with my assistant, my very beautiful wife, is helping me here. Uh, I'm just using gloves for the purpose of the video. I normally don't wear these when I'm working. I only use it when I'm dealing directly with the maggots, but I'm doing it for the purpose of the video. Now, what I use is poultry waste and a little poultry feed. You know, the uh, poultry um, droppings is watery. I use the one that has no sawdust, no dryer inside. It's watery. I let the water drain out from it by bagging it. I let the water drain out. I will show you. 
I will show you the way I do it. I will show you how I keep it. I let the water drain out. Then I put it in a bowl, in a container, or anything in nylon, and I expose it a little while, let flies come in and they lay, do their thing. Then I wrap my nylon. By the time I wrap the nylon, I open it in about three days. The smell is there. This old place, I have opened mine for today. This old place is smelling as I'm making the video. The smell is there. But I still go further. Because you are not going to carry that bowl and put in your fly cage. So you have to prepare the attractant specially for the flies. So that's what I'm going to show you how I do it. Remember I said the same way I mix this, the same way I mix the poultry waste, the same way I mix the puree waste with water. And the same way I cover it and keep it. So let's begin. Now this is my poultry waste that I just come from the bag where I wrap it up. Then water. A little. Add. Add. Keep adding. Okay. I would have liked to test this, but because of the time, the video, I might not do that. I might, I would have liked to test this so that you understand the strength of this. As you can see, you can see flies already dancing around me. Now, this is how you miss your um, poultry feed, your BSG, your poultry waste, just to this level. That is how I make my attractants to this level. Then I seal it up airtight i keep it even as at this level it's smelling already but i still want it to be stronger than this i will explain why so if i should seal this up just put it up if i should seal this up don't press if i should seal this up and put out there in the sun after about one hour you see it becomes very sweaty yes i know that it's working because it's reacting then after three days or two, depends on how long you can wait, I bring it out and I more water. Add. Add. Yes, this is it. Already unlike others where i have to start waiting for it to get strong this is strong already it's strong and this is enough as a tratant. remember it must not get dry i don't have problem with it getting dry when i'm dealing with post poultry waste i don't have that problem with it remember i said poultry waste and chicken feed i mix chicken feed with poultry waste, tie it up in a bag. Then, after um, three days, I do this process. After adding some water to it, I seal it up and I put it out there in the sun for three days. After three days, I open it and I add water, more water, so that it becomes very light. Add water. So this is how I make my attractant. I don't with this, I don't really have to continue to maintain. I just seal it up and place in my cage. In my next video, I will teach you how to place your attractant, positioning it properly for max production. So I, I now move this straight to my um to my fly cage prepare it and put my air collector and that and that. Now, something happens. Something happens. When you move this, you know, you leave your egg, you put your air collectors 
on top of this attractant. And sometimes on our wasted eggs, we drop into this and they start to feed. So you have to once in a while monitor it. If they have too many maggots in your attractant, they will start to dry this up. So you must make sure it is not dry. You must make sure you harvest your eggs on time so that you don't have too many maggots inside here. So that is how I prepare my, my uh, attractant. Now, if you ask me which is best, a lot of people use different things, but for me, I mix poultry waste and chicken feed together, ferment it for a while, then mix it with water, send straight to my fly cage. So remember to subscribe to the channel because I have more videos coming your way. On this channel, you are going to understand everything about BSA farming. Thank you.